everybody and welcome back uh uh to the torch hey it's day ba -ba -na 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 -na. okay once again uh more modded classes have been added um yee. <laughs> it is getting increasingly harder to keep track of all these uh modded classes but that's fine I'm sure that won't lead to anybody being underused, even slightly. So, um, I was going to post a Dark Souls video in place of this one, but I got mad at Dark Souls because I'm currently in Sen's Fortress, and as anybody who's played the first Dark Souls knows, it can be a little bit frustrating. So, we're... <laughs> That'll come, ne that'll come next time. Um, but in the meantime, what I'm thinking, do we want this? Let's see, stun resist, stun chance, 20% stress. The torch, the torch, <laughs> the torch no longer burns under 25. To be hit, teams. What? To. So, like, if, if, uh, hmm. so if our team is about to be hit, there's a chance that we just heal and stress heal? I don't think I fully understand how that works, but... I suppose we won't know unless we go and discover ourselves. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that, and then... <sighs> Who's faster? <laughs> Her, by a lot. Um... Hmm. I can do this, have them. <laughs> that's a, that's a mean looking team. So we have a healer, we have a good amount of damage. Um, we could have another shuffler. We could take Boneth. Hmm. Where does she want to be? She wants to be in the first position? You know what? We'll take the vamp. And then in the final slot, we will take Skelly Boy. And that's going to be our team into the mountain. Let's go! The tribal chieftain calls upon the tribe for aid. Alrighty, we are in. And we bring unnamed the vamp with the heart anchor, vein lights, ruthless septons, cut vein tear, artery, night stock, and transfusion, just in case. Unnamed the cor courtesan with judgment, the embracement cloak, the chorus luna, all of her abilities. Morris the Esquire with Strength Ancestors Letter Opener, Vein Lights, and all of his abilities. Skelly the Arbalist with the Handy Haversack, Hammer and Tongs, Dark Bracer, Sniper Shots, Pressing Fire, Bola, and Battlefield Bandage. Um, so if I had to guess, we are going all the way to the left. <laughs> oh, this will be fun. This foolish Yeti and stone totem that he's guarding thinks he can deal with us he truly is a fool um now i did turn myself up in this episode so let me know if it's too loud um i am very slowly trying to get the just the perfect settings and then once they're perfect mwah, we're good i don't gotta change them again but until then scooring reparte i also don't know how loud i can be yet since i did change the settings just recently but we're gonna see. Energize! Um, 5% protection, 3 accuracy. Okay, not the worst buff in the entire world, but. Let's buff up. Yeah, that's pretty buffed. Okay. Um, let's go, friend. We had a decently high chance to crit. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that way. We are going to try and lower their bleed resistance. It does work on both of them. Nothing a gun won't fix. 
and then bleed them. Okay, 12 over 3 bleed, rejuvenate, that's... Uh, 2 over 2, okay, but we do want to fo- uh-oh. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, that, uh, feels great. So we want to focus down the totem. Even though the Yeti looks like he would be more of a threat, the totem's more of a threat. Okay. Well, at least I know now. Catapult! Defense runes. Oh, well, he's got repose now. Uh. Ah! Take that, hooligan! And your blood! Wow, alright, eight damage, that... Alright. Uh, well, we didn't bleed. Nothing can shake my vision now! Let's go for a big heal. That's a pretty big heal, truth be told. And goodbye. One health. Well, no, he is actually dead. Smashing! Defensive. So does that buff his repost, or does it do nothing? Guess we'll find out. Eh, about a 30% chance to bleed. Unfortunately, it did not. Or wait. To crit. Sorry, not bleed. Um, let's heal here. Very good. She's pretty much back to tip-top shape. And let's go for a heal here. Very good. And screw your part Right, he's gonna rejuvenate, but I'm pretty sure we got him. I don't think there's a single thing you can do now, Stone. Uh, we can't. Actually, we can. I was gonna say we can't hit him because he's in the first position, but then we just went ahead and hit him. So somebody's gonna have to tell me what. Um, is is their only purpose to get rid of the disease? The, uh, the shivers and then the uh, frostbite or whatever, is that their only purpose? Or can we use them on certain curios? Because I don't know, and, and as far as I know, there's not like a wiki or anything, so who knows? Maybe it's truly just that simple, but in my experience, it's normally not. There's normally something else to it. Speaking of something else to it, two busts. Oh dear. I'm really curious how fast we can take out this team. We're gonna go for a heal. And then we're gonna see how hard a skewering repartee can hit. Okay, well the main course does kind of make that a little awkward, but... Nothing we can't handle. Meh! <laughs> Bloody fool. <laughs> Bloody indeed. It almost took them all out. It was really, really close, actually. Actually, that one's... No, not quite. Really, really close, though. We almost got him. <laughs> We're prepared to arrive, all right. He's... Wait a minute. Oh, this is him. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, is he not here? No, he's, he's right here. Uh, I'm gonna go for the collar first. I don't like the collars. They're annoying. They're, they're uh-oh, stinky. And I don't like them. A bleed on all three of you. Strength of the tribe. Behold, our tribe is strong. Minus four speed. Oh, to the mountain. Don't have a repost up, so we're not able to get any return damage on him. He's going to take a second team. Dismay. Be afraid of our tribe's power. Mountain Scully. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Seems fine. Right back at you. The blood. I want. Let us buff. Okay, we're gonna buff our uh, Chevalier as soon as we can. Let's throw the conflict. Now we are prepared. Um, let's dance. Not a very good dance, but you know what? It'll do. Mountain's calling. Ow. Alright. Cardic laceration. That's gonna be a big lead, isn't it? Five over two. Yeah, that's a big bleed. 
Look what's a bigger. Two over three. <laughs> Eight over one. Unfortunately, we did not crit with the extra 10% chance, but that's still a pretty big lead. The tribe! Behold! Ah! And they instantly get to move. Now, this is gonna be an annoying fight. Mainly because his ads. Oh god, his ads are going to be really annoying. Okay, so this is a fight we wanna burst our way through. Gotcha. Well, let us prepare them for some real damage. Offering is almost down. The weight of the mountain. Right back at you. Whoa. So he's... Yeah, he's dead to bleed. Uh-oh. Uh, we might be dead to bleed too. No, it didn't go off. Okay. No, no, not like this. Yeah, this is gonna be a fight. We might just flat lose the hunt. Okay. That's gonna explode next turn. Put a bleed, three. Not quite enough. However, Boris can take it out. We need to keep him off death's door. That way he doesn't die. We'll dance with Skelly. Not the best roll in the world, but it's enough. That's enough for me. That's two down and a repost up. God, a glass operation. All right, we do dodge. It's gonna go again. Dismay. Jeez. Whew. Ooh, that's a nasty bleed. Four over four. She's down. So. Hopefully he summons before um, she goes down. That way he'll waste one of the spots. Um, we're not able to hit him, so we're going to go for a heal right here. Okay. And now, I think it's almost time for our gun. We're not... We're getting about medium rolls every time. Speaking of medium rolls, that was absolutely another one. Well, he gets to summon a full team of three, so that sucks, because she went first. <laughs> he summoned her back! Ugh, stop critting! There is no chance! Flee! Strength of the tribe. Okay. Offering barrier, okay. This is turning into a real train wreck real fast. Put a bleed. And do as much damage as we can to him. We need him down as quickly as possible. Uh, dance here. Now that's a high roll. The mountain's calling. I'll see thee dead for besmitching mine honor. And he missed. Mangy clock pot. Mere mug, mere mint people. Uh, this is this is so much fun. Thou hast insulted me for the last time. Well, not a bad move, truth be told. Maybe not what I would have picked, but it'll do. That's a bleed. Okay, the bleed didn't go off. Ashes to ashes. Mm, dust to dust. Right back at you. Okay, what's that bleed at? Six? He has one health. Right back at you. Uh, four over three. That's not quite enough. However, I'm not willing to let him go. He's almost down. He is down. All right, six over three. Unless he has some way to get healed, he's down. That's an unfortunate miss. Okay, um, we need a heal here. I, it was a heal, you know, I'll give you that. We can't afford him to explode. Smashing! 
if he explodes, we're dead regardless. So down goes the tribal chieftain, and down goes his buddy. That ah, <laughs> ah, was surprisingly close. Let's get out of here. What did we get? Not a lot. 6k gold and some heirlooms. And one... Hmm. Well, okay. Ah, a moon-scented arrival. Though he is few on words, their demeanor and the giant blood-rusted cleaver they wield says all we need to know. So, even though he does hate our kind, we have a common goal, and that is apparently enough for him. So, he will join our cause until the Crimson Court has been defeated, and then he will probably part ways with us. But, he hates all things vampires, and so he wants us to know that. With actions, of course. Not that he really says very much. Okay, let's see. Anybody new? Mm, nope. Still no one new. Ooh. The sun is back. Another judgment? And the Hierophant. Um... It gives us more effective stress healing in our facilities. We already have, uh, we already have these. Yeah, we have another one? Is that a bug? Are they supposed to show back up? Because, I mean, I could go for two judgments, and I could also go for two suns. Because that's a minus 20% uh, chance for us to be surprised. Oh, it's really painful. I really want him. Ooh, especially Judgment. Judgment is, like, so good. <laughs> I'm taking the Judgment and the Hierophant. I'm taking them both. Whew. All right. The Mountain doesn't have a whole lot. Um, let's give this team a little bit of a break. Stone of Patience. Pretty good. Um, this is for the Royal Ages. This is for the... What? Minus 50... Hmm. So, not a very good trinket per se. But, being able to debuff targets to just take more damage is actually pretty legit. Uh, Pet Cemetery... Hmm. Oh, that... Oh, that's so good for the milkmaid. Oh, we might go for that. That is like a legit milkmaid uh, trinket. Also, I'm not even sure what mod this is a part of. I could have sworn I knew. But... Yeah. Um, we still need to do that boss. And then we still have a lot of other options. That's for the powder keg. It's for the choir hunter. <laughs> Um, and then we still have the box. Okay, so pretty sure we're going to go for the regenerating tomato. Tomato. Um, I guess we could bring our new boy along. He, ha <laughs> he hates witches. He hates all things blood. Hmm. Alright, we'll take him along. We'll see how he does. We have arrived. Alrighty, so we bring, I don't have his official name, the Saw Hunter with the Bane Lights, the Chorus Luna, Strength Blood Letting Teeth, Visceral Attack, Hunters, uh, Salutation, and Augur of Ebrietas. Legion, the Hive with the Bane Lights, the Cherished Keepsake, the Bequeathed Buffer, Chitinous Reach the Thirst, Crimson Cloud, and Rebellion. Um, yeah, should be fine. Sal, the banished hunter with a vivid memory garlic pendant because he doesn't want to turn into a vampire. And the ruthless sabatons with visceral attack, silver bullet, flash powder, and parrying stance. Nope. And then Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn the acolyte of sun with judgment, Eustace's head, the bloating vial, primordial bite, regenerate, concentrated regeneration, and sun mirage. So, I think the lore for <laughs> for all the uh, 
Bloodborne characters. By the way, at this point, if we wanted to, we could make an entire estate based around the Bloodborne characters because there has been such a huge, a huge influx of them recently. And I'll tell you what, I've only played through Bloodborne once, but I freaking adored it. I played as um, uh, I played as an arcane character, and pretty much the one weapon I wanted to use from the very start of the game was the Cause Parasite. Little did I know how difficult it would be to achieve. But pretty much, I built my character around the Cost Parasite, an Augur of Ebriettes. Augur of Ebriettes. Um, however you pronounce that, I don't actually know. And then, a call from beyond. Oh, those are so good. See, <laughs> I don't actually own a PlayStation. I, I played it at a buddy, a buddy of mine's house. So that's that's the only reason I I only got to do one playthrough ever. But oh man, it was such a good game. I really really enjoyed it. Oh, the key doesn't work there. Dark diamonds. But yeah, being able to have uh, so many Bloodborne characters, it is really fun. I would be lying if I said I don't like the characters. Ooh. But at this rate, there's so many. Um. And I can't say that they fully fit into what this estate is going for, since, well, no, they really do, they do like blood, but, you know, I, I don't know if they really like vampires, per se, especially him. So, I feel like sooner or later, we're probably just going to make a an entire estate based around Bloodborne characters, which I would be perfectly down for. I don't know what the challenge would be. Other than the super limited amount of uh, healers, but let's see. I think we gotta go for the hunter salutation. Let us greet them. Okay, so remember that disease I was talking about? Here it is: hunter's illness, immune to the crimson court. Uh, crimson court. Ugh. Why do I always say that? Immune to the crimson curse. Though the hunter carries themselves with the strength and agility of a beast, they have mastered the scourge, retaining their humanity and resisting the call of blood-fueled cravings. So, thanks to his disease, he has disease resistance, um, bleed resistance, and blight resistance. Um, some of his moves might also hit, hit harder? Don't quote me on that. So, we're gonna go for a generate on everybody. Maybe it'll land, maybe it won't. It did land on a few people. We're gonna go for a hit here. 14 crit. Yeah, pretty good. Shadow Slice. Now. <laughs> Pairing stance. Nope, sorry. So, we have two people that when they repost, they're going to stun. But also, Augur! <laughs> Ah, oh, we missed. That's unfortunate. Let's go for stun. Dang. All right. I was gonna go for a stun to try and pull off a uh, a mm, visceral attack. I remember what it's called. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case. Now we do still have a chance. And yeah, we had a chance. Ugh. So we can only use Visceral Attack on opponents that are stunned. I guess technically not only opponents that are stunned, but it's not going to do anything unless they are stunned. This initial team is really uh, giving us a little bit of a hard time, isn't it? Eh, a bit of a low roll. That's okay. Um, let's go... I don't want to use Rebellion, not yet at least. It's not gonna bleed. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep critting with that. One will always fall against the many. So we're not gonna have too much luck bleeding them since they are all like ghosts and uh, rotting corpses, but we are going to be able to hit them pretty hard. Like so. He has one health. 
probably should have done focus regeneration, but uh, that's okay. I'm definitely playing to the top caliber. I'm not making any mistakes, and uh, there's no proof that I am. Oh, now we get the high roll. <laughs> Fine, I guess we'll get it late. Battle time! Oh, ghosts. They can't be bled, but they can be stunned. Okay. Let's put all of the regeneration onto him. <laughs> he is going straight to full health. 60 crit. Yeah, that. Mm, yeah, that seems pretty good. I, I'm. <laughs> well, we got two people that are ready to stun as soon as they get attacked. Oh, here we go. We can't repose that. Can we repose this? Nope. didn't do as much damage as I wanted it to, but you know what? We pulled it off! We've done the gimmick, boys. Another stun? Ah, oh, we mistimed our parry! And we can't stun that. Still can't stun that. Mm, that stress sure is getting high. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do rebel in here. Bam, 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 bam. How do we infest a ghost? Good question. The blood. Oh, how it seems to me. I'm upset he survived that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, I took it off. No, I took it off. Oh, that was almost the time for a double visceral. No. Oh, Hunter's Blade was just doing more for me, so I was like, oh, I, I, I guess we're not going to get use out of a double visceral, oh. But it's not over. If we're faster than the bird, we can still make something happen here. And I wish to see it. I wish to see true strength. To see what numbers we can get. And he's faster than us. Or is... Yes, he is. Yeah, that sucks. That would have been the double visceral. That's like... That would have been something this team would have lived for. But instead, all we get is this crappy little secret room. And of course, the chest opens to reveal only ghosts. Why do I even bother? Um, well, that aside... I don't feel like we're gonna land a stun on either of them, but we'll try on him. The Augur of Vibrietas! It didn't land, as expected, but it doesn't make it any less disappointing. So instead, we're going to try... Uh, yes, we're going to try and stun as soon as it's our turn again. Aha! Now we will stun him! Yeah. Oh, oh, you've never seen a more satisfying lineup in your life. And we'll try and stun him too, one. Oh. Well, we stunned one of them. Ho, 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 ho! Now it is our... What is that low roll? I just want to point out, the Dark Dryad can remove stuns. Why? All right, this secret room has to be good. Also, do keys work on this? No, they don't. <laughs> All is not lost, it seems. Four dark diamonds, okay? I mean, I'll take that. That's a, that's a pretty good amount of moolah. That's 6k gold right there. <laughs> yeah, that really starts to add up when you're... Uh, with, when, uh... Oh, also, I believe... Who is it? You. Ravenous. 100% food consumed. Ugh. So, something interesting. 
he can still have another disease. So, technically, he might hate the Crimson Curse, but that doesn't mean he can't be a Darkspawn. Technically. Well, actually, I don't... Does... Would it get rid of Hunter's Illness? I don't think it would. But at the same time, if it works like the Crimson Curse... Crimson Curse overwrites everything. Uh, you cannot have anything if you have Crimson Curse. But Darkspawn isn't, isn't Crimson Curse. So I'm wondering what would happen. Well, <laughs> I guess it's up to us to find out, isn't it? You know, fitting into the Bloodborne <laughs> lore even more. Look, it's a kin. He's trying to take our insight. But we will not let him. We will destroy him far before that time came. Even though we stunned, um, we're not going to be able to do a big attack on him. Also, I found out uh, he can only use this from the first two slots, so... In order to pull off a double visceral with this team, we would have to move the hive back one spot. Which isn't hard. We can basically do that. Well, if anything, we could probably just do that. And then, boom, we're ready for the next time that we can uh, double visceral. They can't do it in the same turn, because it clears the stun. But, that doesn't mean they can't chain together like this. Uh! Ooh, they can! They can chain stun! <laughs> okay, so, if the banished hunter goes first and Visceral attacks a stunned enemy. It re-stuns, or at least has a chance to, and then the Saw Hunter can use his Visceral attack as a finisher. This is an absurdly long freaking... <laughs> I, you know, I love the, um, I love the Pet cemetery, but dang, its dungeons are so long. It reminds me of the Spider Dungeons, which, uh, Considering it's made by the same dev, you know, it makes sense why it, why it would remind me of that. But I don't like that. Well, then it, the spider dungeons were just stupid. They were so long, it would take me like nearly two hours to get through one. Like, that's ridiculous. Where it doesn't take me nearly as long to get through these. It's probably like... This one is probably going to take me about an hour to get through, which is still pretty dang long, but still... Nowhere near the spider dungeons. Uh, so if you're wondering why I don't like the spiders, well, that's why. Their dungeons take forever. Ooh, alrighty. So, we made it through the entire dungeon. There's still four rooms we don't have to do, but apparently this was 90%, which would... Which, with how long this place was, and with two secret rooms... Yeah! Um... um we technically could keep going, but meh. What did we get? Bum 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 bum. <laughs> 32k gold. And then the regenerating tomato. Which I think is going to be a really good trinket. We'll see though. Um, kleptomaniac. Ugh. Survivalist. Makes sense. Morbid. Mm. And natural eye. Which on Gwendolyn is actually fine. Well, we do have someone new. I guess we will add them to our team. So, Tough Skirmisher. Eh, I don't know how good Skirmisher is going to be, but Tough is pretty good. Now, if I remember correctly, her name is Pris Priscilla. Probably spelled that wrong, but I tried. Uh, do we have any new trinkets? Eh, the putrid herbs could probably be good. 12% armor piercing is definitely a really good amount. But the Mountaineer's Pickaxe kind of does that and gives crit, which kind of counteracts a minus 10% damage. So, meh. Alrighty. Let's see. Forbidden Bubble. Kill the... F kill the... 
for the forbidding hat man curse of sickness forbidden bobble minus 25 percent health ow on attack kill swine wretch HP penalty decreases with Forbidden Disciple Devotion. On hit, buff self, damage, and crit. So whenever you crit something, if there's a swine wretch, they just drop dead, you're like, I get a crit on this other enemy. And the other one goes, oh my god, he just crit. Ugh. <laughs> Is that what happens? Also, this makes it sound like it gives a, spe a very specific disease. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. Um, bleeding crystal could be okay. Uh, plus two additional healing done. That could be okay. We still need to go for the vis count, but we haven't done a lot of leveling. We've kind of been focusing on some more low-level stuff. This is surprisingly good for the herald. Minus thirty percent crits received. Minus thirty percent stress, but minus five speed. Hmm. I mean, a lot of these trinkets seem pretty good. This trinket is pretty good. Um, what's this one? This is for the air. It's 5% more stress, 10% protection. Uh, stress healing, the box, and then for the herald, which is 30% duration applied, the guard duration applied, 20% damage reflection, and 5% damage received, which synergizes with the damage reflection. And then this is for the Houndmaster. Not... Well, no, it's okay. It makes his stress healing a lot more effective, and it gives it a chance to cure Horror. So, all in all, a lot of these trinkets are really, really good. I'm thinking we're probably going to go for the for, for the forbid for the Forbidding Hat Man. That's a difficult word for me. Um, as for who we're going to bring, I guess we could bring out the Choir Hunter. Her bleeds aren't exactly gonna do a whole lot but her stuns should be just fine now as far as I know she is also a bit of a flagellant where she has a guaranteed uh, oh whoops <laughs> uh, she has a guaranteed affliction but that affliction gives her just a ton of stats um, so we kind of want her to be afflicted I was gonna say maybe we or no, it'd be a bad idea to take out Annabelle and Ulog because they both blight Brick. Okay, well, we'll figure out a team and In the next one we are going to return back to the pet cemetery and take out the forbidding hat man And then I think we're going to finally level some people up and go take on the Viscount so whew, That should be exciting. That's probably going to be all we do next episode is the forbidding hat man and then probably a bit of leveling or maybe i'll just skip it who knows maybe you guys are sick of the leveling maybe i'll just skip it all <laughs> and suddenly we'll have a bunch of level sixes and i'll be like all right here we go we're taking on the viscount and then the viscount will probably join us in due time so with that thank you guys so much for watching Hope you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.